The city's largest pipe organ is getting a makeover. Pulling it off is a young man with the skills of a carpenter, the brain of a physicist, and an ear for music. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli spent some time with him. As ethereal music echoes through Chicago's Fourth Presbyterian Church, calling the man at the keyboard a musician is only part of his story. I'm kind of a rare breed. I build pipe organs for churches. Pretty much everybody looks at me like, is that even the job? But for Chris Soar, a one-time computer programmer, it is. You're building a gigantic treehouse for adults that also makes music. The pipes in view from the pews are merely decorations, so Soar took us behind the altar, inside his musical treehouse. This is the fanfare division. Each one of these rows is one of the knobs. It is a cramped world populated by 8,000. Yes, that's right, 8,000 pipes of all sizes. These are the most impressive to me because they're 32 feet long and they produce a very low pitch and they're very loud. There's a ladder here that you can go all the way up. Kind of like Spider-Man, he easily navigates a vertical labyrinth of towering spaces and we tagged along. This is like two stories worth of an opening. Since last summer, his job has been reconstructing the skeleton of the church's musical centerpiece. This is what's giving the breath to the instrument. This is where the wind is held and stored and put under pressure with springs. It is a misunderstood instrument. It's, it's considered a relic. But the work of this organ doctor sure sounds good. Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. The debut concert of the refurbished pipe organ is scheduled for next month. It truly is a distinct sound. It makes me always think of my childhood. And sure, and I know it's, it's very traditional, <laughs> yes. and at a place like Fourth Prez, uh, it really goes well. Yes, it no does. Question.